Good morning, everybody. I'm surrounded in my new RV, by the way. Bus, semi-truck. Today, I'm having a show. Not really opening, we're just playing before Billy Talent. If you guys ever wonder, yes, Billy Talent do sound as good at life as they do on the record, I was hanging back there next to the guitar world and the tone is just the, th the same thing that you get on a record it's crazy man good player not crazy weirdo gear but they do sound amazing now that billy talent sound check is done i'm gonna wait for the other band to come in um, as soon as mute the band is playing just uh, after us is done we're gonna start loading more stuff Today we'll be using these wireless. I'm sure, I do not recommend anybody to use anything that is in the L3 range. This is 638 to 698. The 600 range has been sold to phone company in North America. If you are from anywhere else in the world and you, you're maybe allowed to use these frequencies, but here it's really playing around with fire. I do not recommend anybody to do that, but some people still do. There's a small range from 653 to 663 that is still uh, open for people to use these. We're gonna play it with fire and we're gonna try to make these happen. But the good news is we got the PSM 900 for in-ears. Most of the time I bring my own, but uh, here to save some time, load in, load out, and make sure that they work, uh, we're gonna use the setup that is already there. I wanna make sure that these are set to minus 16. They were not and I just changed them. And it's really important so I don't clip the input versus what I usually see send into those in here. Gain structure and gain management and volume management is key when it comes to live sound. I never work with these packs before. I want to take a moment and make sure that everything is set correctly, meaning that they are stereo, they do not have limiter, all the pan are center, and I want to make sure that the frequency match the one that are on the transmitter also going to line check everything from my console i want to make sure that everything is the way it should and then i can move on and do a listening test i'm just gonna walk around the stage and i just make sure that there's no drift there's no noise and we're good to go Okay, that's my band this time. Uh, this is La Chicane. We're running a pair of Pro 1 at both monitor and front of house. Uh, we're connected to a pair of DL231, so that way we can have split gain on 48 input and 48 output. I'm gonna start the sound check. The show is already done in the sense of we're always starting from the last show and it's always the same band. So minor adjustment needs to be done at best. And the important thing on that day will be to stay hydrated. The tricky thing with La Chicane is the lead singer position. We're running a pair of floor monitor, we're running QSC K12 2 and he's also using a in-ear in his right here. He has a PSM 900 with a single 846 headphone and I have to time align everything so everything comes to him in phase and I'm gonna make a video about that because a lot of people don't understand how the interaction of floor monitor and in-ear can happen so stick around for that but basically once I have that nailed down my job is pretty much halfway done for that day I'm slowly working. So,
just fooling around with the guys backstage. We're having a great time today. And it's honestly been a good festival so far. Seriously, I've been having a great time. I've helped the local team this morning, like you guys saw before. And just hanging out with the boys. Ready, getting ready for a good show. And that went on for a while. The guys just keep fooling with me. But at some point, we had to go on stage. We needed to set up everything so we could play. I needed to do my battery for the in-ear. I needed to do my battery for the wireless mic. And as soon as it was our time to play... Rain. The only few minutes that we're about to rain during the whole week were during your set. And it's happening. It's going to rain. For the next few minutes, we may have a late start. I think we're gonna do a show, but yeah, we'll see. For now, it's a standby. Maybe, maybe we're not having a show today. We were kept hanging for around 20 minutes, but the rain slowly started to come down. The local crew did their thing. They did their best to clean up the stage, and we were finally able to go on. The crowd was really pleased, but. I was not. I was uh, being rained on, on my console, my foot was soaking wet. Uh, we did the best we could and we finally were able to pull through a show. At some point the rain went a little harder on us, but we managed to keep going in a safe way. Again, one of these vlogs. I didn't speak much today, but the rain happened, stuff happened. 